Okay, here's a quick video on creating your Bitmoji locker. So here we go. So here's my locker as the example. And so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get this locker screen background from the link that I shared with you guys. The link brings you here and you can simply click on this slide, right click, copy that image of the lockers, then go to your own slides. Yours is blank. I'm going to put oops, this. I'm going to paste mine onto this blank slide and it'll paste right on there for you, perfect size and everything. So once you have the locker here, now you need to create your actual Bitmoji. So there's a couple ways to do this. You need the Google Chrome extension for Bitmoji, okay? So to get that, you can go into your school email, drop down apps, and see if you already have it. If you don't already have it, you can simply open a new window and you can type in the search Bitmoji Chrome extension. And so I searched Bitmoji Chrome extension and it's the first thing that came up, chrome.google.com. And when I click on that, it will bring me to a page to allow me to download it. And again, you can see which email address you're logged into here. Um, you, can, you can actually do this from any email address on your computer because it'll download it to your Chrome browser. So as long as you're on Chrome, it'll work. Mine says remove because I already have it. Yours will say uh, download Chrome extension. So click on this blue button over here to download the Chrome extension. Let it download. Once it's done downloading, what's going to happen is you're going to come up in your toolbar and there's going to be a drop down menu with Bitmoji. And if you have no other extensions, this might just show up in your toolbar. Um, but I have other extensions, so I have a drop down menu. And when I click on the drop down menu, I get access to my Bitmoji. So I'm going to come back to my slide deck here with the blank locker scene. And now I can add my Bitmoji by clicking that drop down, clicking Bitmoji. And I'm going to search for a pose because I want my Bitmoji girl to pose here in my locker scene. So I'm going to find, oh look, this one's exciting. She's like jumping up and down. So if I want to put this in my Bitmoji, all I need to do is right click on her, save image, or I'm sorry, copy image. And now I'm going to click on my locker scene. I'm going to right click and paste. There she is. And I can resize her move her over, make her, oh, I look like she's not jumping high. There we go, <laughs> she's jumping higher. Okay, so I can I can rearrange my Bitmoji however I want. You can drop more Bitmojis in there until you have the one you like. Then, to finish creating your locker scene, you can insert an image, okay? Or you can click on this little image button right here. If you wanna search the web for images, so let's say you have, a calico cat and you want to put a calico cat in your image well you can search calico cat and there pops up a bunch of different choices maybe I like want him to look like a cartoon so I'm gonna be like calico cat cartoon oh there we go a whole bunch of little cartoon cats that I can drop on my scene so let's say I like this guy right here that's sleeping I'm gonna click on him select insert and he'll drop straight into my locker scene and then I can resize him and that's still pretty big. There we go. I'm going to put my little cat over here. Okay, and so that's how you can search for images, and you can do that over and over again by clicking on the image and then search the web. Um, so if you want to find, like, Anaheim High School. You, oh, there's pictures of the building, and you can scroll down and see all the Anaheim High School pictures and pick one you like, okay? The other thing that you can do is you can insert an image from your computer. So if you want to upload an image on your computer, maybe you have a picture of your actual cat, that's fine. You can select that and then you can pick a picture. So I don't really have any pictures saved up for this, but you can just pick a picture and drop it straight into your slide also. The other thing that you can do, again, if you drop down insert image, if you have pictures in your slides uh, or in your drive that you want to use, or if you find pictures on the internet, you can save them to your drive and access them here. So if I click drive, it'll give me a list of all the things in my drive and I can search for the image that I want um, or something like that. Um, oh, so here's an example. 
if I wanted to drop this from the Engineering Girls Day, I could take this poster and I could hang it on the locker like I was at school and they were hanging up posters on the lockers, okay? Um, so you can also, if you have a Google Photos account and you want to get a photo out of your Google Photos, if you have a URL for an image you want to use, or if you have something on your camera roll, if you're on an iPad or you're doing this on your phone. So you can upload all the images that you will like. And again, here's a little visual of my Bitmoji locker. Um, the one thing I want you guys to include is your adjective name and then anything else that helps us get to know you. So I put a sunshine here because I love going out in the sun. I love the sunshine. My little baby girl here and my cat. Um, a little teacher humor here for you. Since I work at Anaheim High School, I got our logo off the internet. Um, I love the Anaheim, the Mighty Ducks. Um, I use their throwback logo because it's my favorite. My favorite book is To Kill a Mockingbird. Um, I put different tubes of chapstick here because I always have chapstick and I always have a bunch of flavors. Uh, my weights are here because I love to work out. And then my favorite band is Nine Inch Nails, but I picked this logo because I also love N64, and this is like the N64 writing. So those are just a few little things about me that I put on my Bitmoji locker. And you can see here, it is the first slide on my digital composition book for this year. So I hope this helps you create your Bitmoji locker. Again, it doesn't have to be a ton of things, just things that would help us get to know you, things that you would want to decorate if you had a real locker. Okay, thanks guys. I'll talk to you soon.